this in a Burlington free press. I feel like I should be able to use it in this in this store. I would like a coupon for a free apple cider. I haven't received anything back yet, but that's what I complained about. I I, I I think it was fair. I was, I was nice about it. I just said, you know, I, here's the coupon that I was that I found in the Burlington Free Press. I, why is it for New Hampshire and Maine? Like that doesn't make sense. Um, but I got an apple cider today with a forty nine cent donut, a really good rainbow sprinkle donut. Oh, it's really good. I bought some socks. I go through socks really quickly because I tend to walk on the rug a lot. So I got these. Got some awesome socks. Uh, had to pay full price for this, and then I paid. Half press for another pack I have because I just go through them so much. I was able to finally dust and clean this entire room. I dusted everything up along these walls, all through the corners, down here among all my my this and that. Um, I also was able to vacuum the floor. I mean, I know everyone everyone comments about like how OCD I am and stuff and how clean and neat and organized I am, but really there was this dust everywhere and I just it, it's something I don't really do dusting and cleaning because rather than just because my room is just naturally so clean most of the time, I don't think it's something that I really notice is unusual. Versus people who just have, like, stuff thrown around. So it's like, when you clean the room, you, like, literally clean the room. Like, you do every single little thing to it. Whereas, like, oh, I need to dust. I need to vacuum. Oh, who cares? Like, uh, look at the floor. I mean, does it look like anything's really dirty in here? Seriously. Um, uh, you know, there's another really good story I was going to tell. Oh, yeah, and when I was on my way to JCPenney's, I found a... Uh, a uh, Powerade cap that had a My Coke reward in it, so I was all happy about that. Really happy. And I threw the I put the bottle in the inappropriate waste receptacle, and that got me to thinking I forgot about this when I was back in like eighth grade. I know this is like a random offbeat story, but just go with it. I was in class and we were talking about natural resources. I forget how it came up, and I just remember this one girl, the wonderful young lady, I haven't talked to her in years, but we mentioned that there was a it got mentioned in class that the, because the Earth is a globe, there's only a limited amount of resources on it. And this girl just kind of like came to... I don't think she was a dumb girl, but I think she just really didn't know this, and it just finally occurred to her when it was said. But she's like, but we can't run out of things. Can we? And I just remember thinking, looking back on that now, I mean, I, I think we all kind of found it funny right then that she just kind of had that epiphany at that moment. But I always kind of wondered, I wonder if she ever went to, like, environmentalism or anything like that. I, I thought that would have been really, really cool. Like, that, that was her turning point. Like, the the realization that we have a limited amount of resources and we have to care about them. Because I'm, like, all about recycling and saving and conserving and all that stuff. Um... Yeah, so what else? Yeah, here is my itinerary for the day. Oh, God, I just remembered something. I actually mailed a book that somebody bought on eBay. And, okay. <laughs> yeah, here is my list. It was dust the room, vacuum, clean the car, upload a video, mail the books, shipping, shopping, and read. I haven't read, but I can do that before I go to bed. And I never cleaned my car. <laughs> Which, if you've guessed by my room, my car doesn't really need much except to simply dust it. And it's one of those things where you don't really notice it unless you actually start peeling the dust away. And then you're like, oh yeah, there's a lot of dust here. Because I just wiped my dashboard panel just lackadaisically and like all this dirt, this dirt layer just came up. And all of a sudden it's so clear. <laughs> uh, so what? Else, I think I finally just decided something I want to do. Uh, just pardon me, I'm just taking care of noting that this was shipped. I decided that for this Christmas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the coupons I have available to me for like food items. I'm going to make a very large trip at the at my local shopping center, and I'm going to donate all of that stuff to the food shelf. I've decided that's going to be kind of like my little donation. My little uh, help uh, humanity type thing for the year. Not that I, not that I'm, not that I mean and kick homeless people as I walk down the street. But I mean, I, I just thought it'd be something really nice to do for the holidays. Just some, maybe a tradition I'm just gonna start doing every year. Because I can, I have a lot of coupons for food items, especially non-perishables, and I can do that and just get this volume of food at a very reasonable price and just donate it. And I'm and I'm I'm gonna feel I think I'm gonna feel really good about that. So let's get rid of this so I can get back to looking at you. Let's, there we go. Put it in archives. It's archived. There we go. Uh, I wonder what PayPal is doing actually. So uh so yeah I've come to that decision about that. 
I thought there was something else. Read up on vacuum dust room. Mail the books. Did my shopping. See, what else did I do with shopping? I got, oh god. Okay, my sister, this is why you never set me to do something simple. My sister wrote me a note. My sister was making lasagna for my brothers in law's uh, hunting trip. She had the lids for lasagna ready. And what I did, and I read her note, and it said, uh, my Charles, can you please go get pans for these lids? I have the lids already, and I didn't read. I interpreted that she wanted more lids, so I went out and bought her four lids. <laughs> and I brought them in, and she's sitting outside, and she's like, uh, you didn't get me lids, did you? Yeah. Like, and I was totally convinced I did the right thing, and I felt so bad. Like, oh, no. Everything went so perfectly. Uh, oh, uh, so that happened. I felt that was kind of a fail for the day. Um, where is it? I know, I know it's here. I'm looking for one other thing. Oh, it's on, oh, it's on the floor. One second. Isn't this, isn't this riveting watching me walk around my room? Isn't this so weird? Oh. oh, actually, wait, wait one sec. Let me actually get something. There's something over there I want to show you, actually. Okay. This. Let me get the headphone on here. Yeah, um, when I was leaving the, well, let me show you the first thing. When I was leave, walking through my a price chopper this this time, I noticed just a whole bunch of packets from different companies as well as the store itself. I got all of these coupons for different products in the store. These are price chopper coupons as well as manufacturer's coupons, free Jello, anything you want. It's practically here, and I'm going to use these during that during that Christmas that uh, holiday run I'm going to do. So I'm all excited about that. That's like that's like sixty dollars in coupons right there. Um, no, what I did is I the last thing to finish up my day is I actually looked at the pick our pick four numbers for uh, our local lottery, and I noticed that in the past eleven draws no nine had been drawn, and so I have here single digit draws for nines. So if a nine was ever drawn in the drawing, I've won. So actually. Let's head to Vermont Lottery and check it out right now. Okay, come on, nines. Ah. Oh. Well, I had to lose sometime. <laughs> that sucks. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nothing in probability is a sure thing. <laughs> oh well. Hey, I won the past three times, so technically if you want to make this out, I went, I, how I was doing is I paid, I paid 50 cents for each of these four tickets. The payout would have been a 250. I won the past three times with that, making 50 cents each time, and I only paid $2 for these, so I lost 50 cents in four plays. Uh, not bad, but eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Um, I also, let's talk about one final thing. I have a really interesting idea for a set of LPs I'd like to do. Uh, everyone knows H.C. Bailey, right? I see some hands. Good. Okay. Well, he does the Final Fantasy LPs, and I am considering doing, um, Ultima. I, I am considering doing every game in the Ultima series, and I was wondering what people would think about that. I don't think there's any other LP on YouTube who's done all the Ultimas, and I want to give it a shot. I'm test playing through Alcalabeth right now, trying to get it all, trying to figure all the ins and outs of it and work it through. Um, I'm inspired specifically by Spoonie and his re general reviews of the game, how they work. So uh, uh, hit me up and let me know. Okay, so this is Fire Wizard 23, and this video is probably going to have to be cut, so take care. Bye-bye for now.